breaking news, Nigerians. Finally, it's happening. The war has just begun. As Niger military coup plotters gave Nigerians in Niger 74 hours to leave their country. Hmm. You see, I believe by now, President Bola Metinubu will now understand that everything is not might. You allow yourself to be used by the worst. You want to go to war with your neighbors. Or can I say, brothers, the Niger people with the Northerners, then they intermarry self. They get borders. You understand? Now you want to go to war because they have issues in their country. Matter when not concerning you. Now they don't tag Nigeria as enemy. This has just begun. Giving Nigerians who live in Niger 74 hours to live. This is a sign of like we are ready for you. That is what is playing out now. They are just telling Nigeria that we are ready for you. Since you have refused to stay away from our internal affairs, they want them. They want Echoers to stay away. But they refused. Now, Nigeria now is the first country these people want to hit. You want to use military intervention because you or your own is just to restore democratically, you know, a uh, elected president in Niger. Did you even ask the people? Did you even ask the people if they want the democracy? Look at their expressions, the way they are happy that the military took over. That means something is wrong. A few days ago, Sahara reporters reported that Nigerians of the Southeast extraction who live in the Niger Republic have protested against the proposed military action against coup leaders in Niger by the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, led by Nigerian President Bola Ame Tinubu. The ECOWAS had given the Niger coup plotters, led by General Adu Ramani, seven days to return power to President Mohamed Bazou of face military action. ECOWAS has also imposed sanctions on Niger including stopping all financial transactions and freezing its national assets, while the Nigerian government has cut off electricity supply to the country. The one-week ultimatum expired on Sunday, but the Nigerian military leaders have remained adamant as they have cut ties with Nigeria. They cut ties with France and some other countries while warning that any military action against them will amount to a full-blown war. There has been anxiety in Nigeria, uh, communities borders, the Republic of Niger, that is the northern region, where about seven states border the country. Reacting to the proposed military invention, the southeasterners Nigerians, popularly known as Igbo living in Niger called on Tinubu and ECOWAS to just on the idea of military action against Niger military junta. In a viral video, they have good in a viral video, they have good relationship with their host country and therefore don't want any action that would affect their lives and livelihood in Niger. We don't want war in the Niger. Republic, we are living in peace with the people here. We will do a demonstration around. We want peace. Some of them were held speaking in Igbo in the video. The Nigerian Senate has also rejected Nubu's proposal for military invention in Niger and advised him and ECOWAS to exploit diplomatic means to resolve the political issues. You see, this is what I said. Now, 
the 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 Niger coup uh, coup plotters they are now at it. So the first country now they strike is Nigeria. That is it. It's Nigeria. So when they are telling President Muhammad Buhari to calm down, the same way they 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 treated the 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 agitators in Nigeria, because you just you 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 feel that if you are in position. You can just dish out others anyhow and all that. And you don't even think about the aftermath of all these things. Now, those Nigerians who live in Niger, they will be forced to leave. And now they will come back to Nigeria. How are they going to start all over again? It's not easy. It's not easy for one to just leave unprepared. You understand? For one to just leave unprepared. So the government have to look for how they will settle all this with the Niger people because we not get problem with them. If they have problem with themselves in their country, they should they should settle themselves. Nigeria was, you know, under military regime one time. Nigerians fought for it. No country aided them for that. You understand? Why are we prognosing when we have issues? Like as I said, the matter, it don't begin with this. The first people now, when they first hit na Nigeria, you understand? Those people, when they said, then they send uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, go, 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 go. What did they do now? You know, I fed them. We just have to use wisdom in this. Meanwhile, the Niger junta has announced a list of 21 people he said will become ministers in the new government, according to Irish Times. The announcement was made overnight on state television. So you see, these people, they are not playing at all. They meant whatever they are doing. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.